Hello there, welcome back to, uh, well, Sweden. I was about to say Teutons for some reason. Last time we had a war against Poland, uh, we won that fairly substantially here. Took a ton of uh, provinces from them, which is, uh, of course, really, really good. And uh, hopefully Eratibor will now go back to uh, Bohemia through Revolt or whatever. Hansa joined a military coalition against us, which is not surprising at all. And we also did start the, uh, the process of, uh, well... Uh, how should I put this? The process of integrating Denmark, because, well, it's kind of necessary. They're not too powerful. And, uh, well, they're more or less what we what we would presume here. Now, do I want to attack the Hansa? Do I want to do that for my own good? Um, it could, of course, be hilarious to do, just do so, but uh, we'll have to see. We'll probably fight Muscovy again. The truce is running out in uh, 33, so we basically have three more years to uh, prepare. And again, yeah, I think we'll just wage a war, try and take as much of the mainland as possible, and then just allow them to colonize eastwards for us. I think that would be probably the best thing ever, and then just eat them. Or once we are actually caught off mostly with them, we'll just annex them and give everything to Novgorod. That should work wonderfully. Then I can, well, either keep them for, well, war purposes or annex them. It's uh, basically one or the other, so that's perfectly fine. But uh, again, I'm really tempted to get into a scuffle with Pomerania, but I need them to, uh, well, not be a part of uh, Holy Roman Empire for that to happen. So I kind of actually have to rely here on Hungary to do uh, my dirty deeds for me, if you will, allied with Spain. Spain is having fun with reformed sellers, though. So I guess Austria-Spain alliance should break now, I would presume at least. No, it's still allied with Spain, so this is going to be really, really awkward. And Bavaria is definitely losing here to Augsburg of uh, all countries. It's just Augsburg, so yeah, really surprising. But they did get a uh, Fleming on the throne. The old king died, didn't get uh, anything really out of it, but uh, we might, well, start the marriage game if you will right now. I should probably just go ahead and break the royal marriage for that matter. Uh, of course, I don't have the papacy, so, well, I don't have the right religion to have the papacy, so that uh, would be painful in terms of stability, so I'll not be doing that. But, uh, we'll have to see here. If, I was re if I'm really lucky and I can kill my heir, then we might be able to get a Habsburg on the, on the throne, and then I can potentially try and grab Austria early on. But the problem, of course, is the fact that Austria is aligned with both Venice and Naples, two nations that aren't in the Holy Roman Empire and hold, well, a fair amount of Holy Roman Empire land. So it doesn't really make too much sense that Austria, the Holy Roman Empire, would tolerate them like this. The only real op other option I have is try to ally myself with the Ottomans, but they hate my guts, so that's not really that's not really a uh, that's not really a good plan at all. But uh, yeah, I think we'll just sit down here, just uh, wait for the truce with Poland here to run out, then we'll have another war. And in the meantime, I'll have a king claims to Lithuania because we did wipe peace out with them, so we'll fight them again in uh, probably 32. I'm a little bit unsure. Uh, that could also be useful for me because that means I can just white piece out with uh, with Poland most likely. I think. Yeah, I can most likely white piece out with Poland uh, if they join in. So that would be very very good. So I guess we're actually going to fight Lithuania here before we fight. Uh, well, before we fight anyone else. So it's an interesting uh, interesting sentiment. But uh, for the time being, we'll just sit by and see what happens. We've taken another military idea. Quantity. Uh, forced labor, building power cost minus uh, 20%, buildings are cheaper in terms of uh, power costs, so that's wonderful. Uh, we need one more to get uh, the benefit to force limits and also manpower, as well as the shock bonus, so uh, yeah, we're getting really, really close here for some interesting stuff to happen. And why are you doing this? Just why? Anyways, uh, Denmark has been integrated, and I think I'm just going to keep the troops uh, I think I'm going to wait with forming Scandinavia until I'm actually, uh, well, in a better position to do so. And again, yeah, this is one of the things that annoys me. Basically, there's a potential of uh, transporting my troops with a fleet. I don't have to transport them with a fleet, but the game decides that I should. And that is probably why Denmark uh, and basically my Norway, for that matter, didn't really do much during the, uh, during the first wars because they would need a fleet to transport them, and they just didn't have that. So, again, it's kind of annoying in terms of, uh, I know it's a shorter route, but if you don't have the fleet, you should be able to walk. Let's just be honest, that's uh, that's kind of how it's going. Also, 
uh, religion wise we do start to get a uh, a fairly nice amount of Protestant land there's also something uh, well conversions going on in the western sphere so uh, it could definitely be useful Switzerland is also turning uh, reformed as you could see so uh, a war against Austria isn't really that unlikely truce with me ends in May no truce with me has ended can I declare war on these guys Brandenburg will join but not Austria Bohemia will join in on uh, Lithuania's side. Poland will uh, will also join. So I think we might just have to wait here for Poland to uh, to get their troops up more so than anything else. And uh, again, I could go for war here against uh, Austria, but again, they will be able to call their own allies. We don't really want that. So uh, with that in mind, I think we'll just peacefully wait more so than anything else, see if we can get Austria caught off guard by something else. They just have too many troops right now for me to be able to handle them in a uh, in an efficient manner. But uh, the truce with Moscow is running out very, very soon, and uh, we'll of course use that to our advantage. So we'll just sit and wait for now. Well, I did actually boost the ability while we were gone due to the fact that my admin power reached maximum. I uh, am just so far ahead that uh, I think it's time that I start coring some land myself because there's not really much else to do. Of course I could build things, I do have a lot of money, so uh, I might have to consider actually uh, doing some building here in the in the admin department. Uh, probably some temples could definitely be useful just to boost my, uh, just to boost my income a little bit, but uh, I'll consider that as we go. Uh, or rather, we'll build some right now, just because we can, and again, it's not too expensive, it costs me uh, 8 admin points each building. So uh, we'll just add some temples, more or less, well, everywhere, to uh, to boost ourselves a little bit. I, th Yeah, we'll build... There we go, that's enough for now. Again, it's just to save admin points rather than just having them spill out into, into nothingness. But we can fight uh, good old Muscovy, so uh, why don't we do that? Kaluga, I think, then. Let's just go for Belisero. It, it's closer, it's simpler, and... Uh, it should be within the calculations, if you will. And again, I'll just be moving my troops uh, up north, and uh, we'll see how this goes. Now, Muscovy doesn't actually have any allies. That's an interesting thing to note here. They don't have any allies, so it'll be us versus them. Straightforward uh, battle, if you will. And since they're basically just mostly colonizing, I should be able to catch up with them sooner rather than later. I hope. But uh, we'll have to see. Again, it's just I can. Oh God, damn it! Um, he actually signed in another course because I believe military tech-wise we are one tech ahead. Yeah, we are. So let's see. Can I actually get there or stop them in the tracks here? No, they actually did go through with that, and ended up in a battle which they will hopefully lose here. But they still did get. They still did a lot of damage, to be perfectly honest, more than I would have expected. And uh, that's, of course, really, really bad. Now, where are you guys going? You're going to Tver, then you're going to Arasev on the 25th of April. So, do I actually have a general? I have Eka. Not the best general, but uh, he'll do the job. And uh, again, the Muscovite force is actually attacking me rather than Novgorod, so it might hint to I'm actually being the weaker part here, but uh, that's just how things are. We now completed our Swedish ideas, which gives National Manpower Modifier plus 10%, and also plus 1 to land leader shock, very important, and uh, land attrition minus 10%. A rather useful idea set. Uh, for now, we'll just focus back on military attack. We uh, are behind right now, which is not good, but uh, I think we'll ha be able to catch up. And, uh, well, hopefully here, we'll be able to beat uh, Muscovy to uh, a pulp over the course of everything, but again, it seems like Muscovy actually do have uh, fairly a fairly strong military right now, which is a little bit of a surprise. But uh, I'll just do a bit of sieging on my own. We're getting uh, quite a bit of manpower here for virtually nothing. And I did not anticipate this to happen, that they actually joined up with an, another army. But uh, Novgorod here did the same thing that I did, got the rain and crossing, and uh, got the ass handed to them. So... Muscovy is quite quite actually powerful right now. They have expansion and defensive, so I guess that explains it. It really doesn't though, but uh, I guess I'll just have to go with that explanation. And again, I'll just allow the Muscovy, Muscovy to siege a little bit. Did Novgorod's army... No, it's up there. Teutons! 
I ordered you to siege this. Again, this is kind of, again, a pet peeve of mine. I have no idea why the Teutons aren't walking north. It makes no sense whatsoever that they are just sitting on their ass and uh, laughing at, well, my force is doing most of the work. Uh, it makes no effing sense. And uh, that is, again, one of my pet peeves with, uh, with this whole scenario, if you will. But uh, we'll join up our forces, I think, in Torsok or something like that, and hopefully, yeah, I can beat them back. Um, I'll not be hiring another general because we'd need the points, unfortunately. And uh, do I want to take a chance here and attack the guys in Tver? We'll do. We'll do just that and see what happens. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Austria got a peasants' war. That could be. That could be fun. Uh, we got a terrain modifier. Hello, uh, old game. Come on, Novgorod. Help me here, we can beat them. Uh, yeah, we should be able to beat them even with their current modifiers, if you will. So come on, come on. They're adding 2,000 smaller units here that are basically boosting morale, and I'm being annoyed by that, but we did actually not manage to pull through. I'm disappointed. But uh, let's face it, Muscovy do have a more or less uh, inexhaustible manpower pool, so uh, it's going to be difficult no matter how we do this, I think. I, I should probably save up the money rather than going for well, the strategy that I've chosen, just I could uh, build a mercenary army to challenge these guys. But uh, let's just check it military-wise how Muscovy's armies are doing. They have 2,000 manpower left, so out they have a mercenary army run, and they have a huge mercenary army running around. And uh, if you consider that, things are looking fairly good. Now, on the flip side here, last time I checked, France didn't actually have an air. Do they have one now? Yes, they do have one now. They didn't have an air last time, and. Uh, a fairly old king to be perfectly honest so it'll be interesting to see how uh, the future goes here the uh, regions council will also be important to uh, to watch and uh, hopefully a call will soon come of age but uh, I'll allow this army to recover more so than anything else and uh, then we're going back to try and beat on Muscovy so uh, I'm just going to allow the army to recover and then I'll get back to you so Austria's peasant war lasted a grand total of no time so again, in line from the might be difficult due to the fact that Austria do have a fairly substantial, uh, well, amount of land. But uh, it will of course be interesting. It'll probably, I should probably just actually have saved up my money, just gone stability, saved up my money for the religious war, and uh, basically that should have been my plan. But I didn't, and I'm probably going to have to regret that in the near future. Uh, we're going to go and siege Belisario because it is the war target, and if we don't siege that, we're probably going to. Uh, I'll get a lot of pain, if you will. So, uh, I'm just going to put or work with that for the time being. Uh, there's 14,000 stack of, uh, of uh, Muscovy troops over here. We probably have to deal with them. But uh, for the time being, we'll just uh, sit by and see what happens here, more so than anything else. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to, uh, well, uh, stop this early, so I do apologize for that. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, phrase, criticism, anything you feel like, and I'll see you around next time. Bye.